What's going on guys? So I've got an afternoon fly fishing trip today. I had some time this morning, so I thought I'd slide out here and uh, do a little trout fishing. It's really picked up the past couple days. So I'm gonna sneak up here and hit a couple spots um, and, and try to put some fish in the boat. Uh, I'm gonna fish uh, paddle tail and a DOA shrimp and see what, what out fish is what and kind of give them both. Or at least that's my plan. Who knows, maybe I'll stick with one the whole morning. But I'm uh, gonna switch around a little bit, hit some stuff I haven't fished yet this year and try to locate some new fish. So stay tuned. I'll see you in a second. All right, so I apologize. I've told y'all I get a little embarrassed uh, talking to the camera in front of other boats. The spot I rolled up to had a bunch of boats. Um, but in five casts, I had a limit of 18 to 20 inch trout. And I made about 12 casts and caught about eight fish on my favorite lure, the Red Flake DOA Shrimp. So I'm gonna let these boats pass by and uh, make a few more casts and see if I can catch a few more fish. And then I'm gonna move on and uh, try to find some fish in some other areas. But this four inch Red Flake DOA Shrimp is all you need. Sorry about the video angle guys, I just can't give this spot away. They moved in a little tighter to the bank. I was catching them off the bank a ways as that tide's coming in, these fish are definitely sliding up. Nice fish. Smash that DOA. I think I've been fishing about 15 minutes and that's probably number 10. We're right here, which is good. A little tangled up here. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get one or two more fish here and then I'm gonna move shrimp rig back up so one thing i don't like about these shrimp is they do not hold up very well my cadence is very slow when i hit this rod tip i'm really just trying to check and make sure a fish hasn't picked it up and is holding it This one right there. There it is. Okay. Smallest one I've caught this morning. If I miss another fish, come on. There he is, on the drop back. On the drop back. Halfway up the line, halfway up the leader. You guys, if you're not going to eat them that night or within the next two days, just let them go. All right, one more fish to have a limit on camera here for y'all. And like I said, that's probably number 11. I just got a little little gun shot to pull the camera out around for another boat. So I get nervous. One more. One more. 
gets harder as I get down current here. Like that was a bite right there, but it's really hard to set the hook up current like that. He came back for it. Let's see if we did it again. I hooked him and he dropped it right there. Because they eat it and you're pulling it away from them as soon as they eat it. The bites that come out front have a lot better hookup ratio. Those bites behind me, I try to give them a second so they, they can eat it and kind of turn their head. Knocking that DOA out the line. All right, before we leave, I might see if I can get one on the fly. See if I can catch a few right here. Move just a little bit after trying to fly rod. They're blowing bait up on the bank really good right here. Just showering mullet as they come down the edge. This bank's got a lot of little potholes, little drop-offs, and I've talked about this in a lot of podcasts, but you know, before season comes, you don't want to do it right now. If people are fishing, you're gonna make a bunch of people mad, but before the fish get here in the fall, guys, before the fish get here in the fall, you want to idle those banks and find those little deep. Do what? They didn't want to fly. A lizard fish did. <laughs> A nice one, too. Did you? <laughs> you know what I found out those are good for? You cut them in half and use them as drum bait, like big drum in the ocean. Someone told me that and I tried it and I caught fish on it. And I mean, hey, you're getting rid of them, don't do it. Right, right. And you don't feel as bad as throwing them up on the bank. Yeah. But what I was saying is what you want to do. See if I can get a few more. I was just talking off camera and caught a couple more, but they are here. There's, there's more and more fish dumping in every day. I think I'm at about 15 fish here. I've been fishing maybe an hour. No, probably 45 minutes. And they, they've really started crushing this shrimp. And I've kind of been jockeying around a little bit. Kind of where I'm drifting. There he is. Guy was just holding it. That's a good one. That's a good trail. 
Not that I'm doing any, not that I'm any better of an angler of anybody fishing this bank, but I think I'm the only one fishing this shrimp and I'm getting way more bites. Um, way, way more bites. I'm just fishing it really slow. Like every time you see me reel, I'm just taking the slack out. Little bump, I'm just checking to make sure a fish hasn't eaten it and is holding it. If you don't have a tight line, you're really not gonna feel those bites. And a lot of times, they're, if, they're, if you don't feel the bite, then they eat it and hold on to it for a split second, they're gonna drop it. They don't, they, they can figure out pretty quickly it's not real. There's another one. Yeah. Might be a decent one. Nope, just thinks he's big. Just thinks he's big. I know, it gets like, it just, oh, it's so scared you're gonna lose it. There he is, I'm gonna keep my rod tip down a little bit. Little guy. I'm gonna roll, y'all wanna sit right here? Yeah, we'll back down a little bit, I appreciate it. Man. Yeah, man. All right, guys, well, that is going to wrap it up for me this morning. Uh, i got to go pick my charter up here in a minute. The tide's starting to slow down. Bites, blunt bite is shutting off a little bit. But I want to talk to you all a little bit. I know I do a lot, but about the DOA shrimp and why this lure works so well uh, for speckled trout. And the reason it is is the way it's weighted. You can see that black belly weight in there. Um, this bait, when you're not pulling on it, it is sinking completely parallel to the bottom, just kind of drifting and spinning in the current. Uh, and what that does is it just it makes this shrimp look very very realistic this red red is actually the first color to disappear uh, underwater so it makes this bait real translucent it still kind of gives it that depth like they can see that there's color there a little bit but it's not this bright red lure that you're seeing while i hold it in my hand um, and the fish have just been absolutely crushing it this morning um, i'll fish other baits but you know as you'll hear me say a lot this is my definite go-to um, everywhere I've stopped, this bait has gotten more bites than, than the other boats around me throwing jigs and X wraps and mirror lures. Um, this has been the bait, but limit of trout and five casts with this this morning. I missed one on the fourth cast uh, that would have had me a limit of trout and literally four casts. Um, and so it's a bait. I believe in it. I want y'all to fish it. It's a great bait. I don't want anybody to miss out. But if y'all enjoyed this little video, I'm going to bring y'all a lot more trout fishing videos this fall. This was just a quick little strike mission, little scouting mission. Uh, to see where the fish were but if you enjoyed it please please press the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel uh, and if you have any questions or comments hit me up here on youtube i'll do my best to answer all of those uh, or you can head over to instagram it's judd brock fishing you can check out eastern current on instagram uh, or on facebook and uh, we'll see y'all in the next video later